I just found out some pretty exciting information, y'all. I said, how can I not hop on a video and share it with everybody? If y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you watch 2K18 videos and you haven't subscribed, what are you up to? It's a real question right there. Now, mm, I do a lot of jump shot tests. Every jump shot I test, I have it on a notepad document. I, I literally have the exact release. I rate it on the park and the pro-am and my final thoughts. And I'll even write like crazy from Limitless or amazing moving shot, like some key points with the shot. And then a few weeks later, I love to go back and just revisit jump shots. So I'm, I'm testing new stuff all the time. So when I come across information like I did today, Oh, I get really excited. Now, my guys at NBA 2K Lab are the plug, for real. They have a modded controller, so they can time stuff to perfection every single time. And it makes tests super simple, although probably time consuming, but they put out a tweet, and this tweet is a game changer for jump shot creations. The tweet says, the upper portion of your custom jump shot doesn't mean anything unless you watch for visual cues. It doesn't affect timing or window at all. So basically they're saying the base of your jump shot determines everything when it comes to the green windows, etc., etc. And your upper release one and your upper release two only serve as visual cues. So you know I'm talking about cues all the time, I release on cue. They're saying that's its only function. Which explains why, if you remember last year, I told you how to put Magic Johnson as your release two because it made for a super easy cue and it just simplified the whole process. Previously, I thought the combination of the entire jump shot determined the green window, but they're saying it's literally just the base. If you take a look at their websites from all the jump shots they've tested so far, they say Amateur One and Clay Thompson has the biggest green window. This is where I'll take time in the video to say, I told you so. I saw some people tweet at me like, yo, Agent, your park jump shot you uploaded a couple weeks ago, I can't really roll with it. And I'm like, what do you mean, bro? It's a wavy jump shot. And that jump shot had an amateur one base. And we're finding out that has, at least so far from the ones tested, the biggest green window. I hit them up in the DMs. I was like, yo, 2K Live, I'm gonna need y'all to test out D'Angelo Russell real quick. Cause if I find out D'Angelo Russell has a bigger green window than all the other tested ones so far. I'm about to make a whole video dedicated to I told you so. The consensus on my A1 jump shot is, yo, agent, I love it, but it's too slow. If you're 6'4 and under, there's no excuse. You can put it on very quick and then it's fast. But if you're 6'5 and up, it is kind of slow. So in this video, I'm here to help y'all out because I have a catalog of bases that are lit. So without strenuous testing to find the exact green window, just based off my user experience, I'm gonna label some of the, can't show y'all this jump shot yet. I just, I just, I almost, I almost exposed the wavy jump shot that was, I was testing this jump shot. Now the green window is wildly dependent on latency. There's a jump shot I was using previously that when the latency was good, the, the Q was so hard to hit, it was almost impossible to hit a green. But the second latency started to pick up, even a little bit, Yo, the entire green window, it's like you couldn't miss green. So the tests they're doing are on my career. So I also wanna keep that in mind when I'm looking for jump shot. So I'm gonna name some bases that I love to use. And then if it's your style, because everybody has a different style, you need to pick it up and then find a cue that works for you on the release one or release two. Carmelo Anthony is a strictly mid-range release. Do not try and shoot threes with that. Aldridge is a super popular release and base. I know y'all hate slow releases, but I really like Chauncey's base. Gallinari along with Rudy Gay probably have the most simple bases of all time. Kevin Durant has a clean base. It's not fast, it's not slow, but in my experience, it leans way too much. James Harden has a wavy base. Tony Parker has a wavy base. Klay Thompson is usually for a big man. I don't know too many guards that can pull it off, but his base is wavy. John Stockton's release took a huge turn this year. Last year it was a disaster. Y'all might wanna check out John Stockton. Of course, my A1 base, D'Angelo Russell. Jump Shot 9 is probably the most popular, if not one of the most popular in the game. I don't like it, but it's really popular. I'm sure y'all remember base 49 from last year. This is an A2 base. It's not A1 just yet, I have some more testing to do, but it's really solid. Of course, like last year, Jump Shot 65 is an alternate to High School 1, or what they call now Amateur 1. So if you don't like Amateur 1, but you still want a similar Jump Shot, Jump Shot 65. I haven't tested this one yet, but I'm excited to. And then of course, as usual, Amateur 1. I heard some set shots might be wavy this year. I'm gonna have to look into set shots though, for fact. So use any base you're most comfortable with. All right, mine for me, Base one. And then I tag it with releases I'm comfortable with. Now, so far this year, 
Paul George is by far my favorite release. It came out of nowhere because last year it was booty cheeks. Again, I'm not gonna go into making the entire jump shots because this takes time and then practice and then testing. And I haven't done all that yet. That's game, I'm, I'm hopping on tonight. I'm playing 2K. And all I'm gonna be doing is testing jump shots. I gotta do some more investigating. I'm excited, man. I know I'm gonna come up with some wavy combos now. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. I'm gonna leave 2K Labs link in the description. I'm gonna leave it on that, man. Again, if you enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm out. Peace.